Hello friends, today's story is Sleeping Beauty, The Friendship of Fairies. In a magical kingdom, there lived three kind and gentle fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. Together they worked, worked to bring forth beauty, happiness, and love. Only by the power of their friendship could they defeat the evil power of, power of their rival, Maleficent. One day after Maleficent cursed the infant princess, Aurora, with a powerful spell, the three good fairies secretly conspired to protect the innocent baby. Maleficent doesn't know anything about love or kindness or the joy of helping others. Fauna reminded her friends this thought gave Flora an idea. Maleficent never expected them to live like peasants and raise the child themselves. Fauna was overjoyed with the proposal, but Meriwether, bringing, being a pra the practical one, was reluctant to give her wand. To give up her wand. We've never done anything without magic before, she complained, but Flora insisted that they could do it if they worked together. With love, they cared for the beautiful princess as if she were their own daughter. For 15 years, they kept her in a hidden cottage in the woods. Then, on the afternoon before her 16th birthday, the good fairies sent Briar Rose, as they had named her, to pick berries so that they could plan a special surprise for her. Although they were sad about returning her to the king and queen at sunset, they were content thinking about her future happiness. Aurora sang as she gathered berries. She had the voice of an angel, and the squirrels and birds and other woodland animals came to listen. She told them her dream of a meeting, a handsome stranger, and falling in love. Nearby, Prince Philip was riding his horse. Samson, hearing Aurora's beautiful singing, he asked, What do you think it is? A wood sprite, maybe? He was so entranced by her song that he promised Samson a carrot if he would follow the music. Excited, the horse galloped too fast, knocking his friend off into a stream. No carrots for you, said the prince. Seeing the white clothes, some rabbits and an owl decided to play a game with Briar Rose. Laughing, she danced to make her believe a stranger until she realized that the real man had taken the place of her woodland friends. As she backed away, Prince Philip called after her. But I'm not a stranger. We've met before. He reminded her of the song that she had been singing. You said so yourself, once upon a dream. Looking at him closely, Aurora felt that she really did know him. His smile made her trust him, and she held his hand as they danced and walked through the magnificent forest with a gentle touch and a tender look they knew in the moment that this was a love as strong and true as one could ever be. This is the happiest day of my life, Briar Rose proclaimed when she returned to the cottage. However, four Fauna and Meriwether were not pleased to hear about her handsome stranger. As they explained, she was a princess. Aurora fell into a despair. She thought that she never would see her love again. Sadly, the fairies led the princess to her castle home, but they didn't realize that Maleficent had discovered them and was waiting to carry out her curse as Aurora pricked her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel. 
the whole castle fell into a deep sleep. The good fairies realized that only the kiss of a true love would awaken sleep, the sleeping beauty. Upon discovering that Prince Philip was a stranger that Aurora had met in the woods, they raced to Maleficent's castle and rescued him from her dungeon. The three fairies combined their powers of goddess and fatal bow of the evil Maleficent. Sword of truth, fly swift and sure that the evil die and good endure. Their spell, combined with Prince Philip's strength of heart, put an end to the ferocious dragon that Maleficent had become. Awakened by a tender kiss, Prince Aurora opened her eyes to behold the face of her true love. As Princess Aurora and Prince Philip expressed their love to the kingdom, the fairies danced with pre- pleasure knowing that their beautiful briar rose would live happily ever after. The end. Now stay tuned for The Little Mermaid, The Princess of the Sea. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys have a lovely night, day, or evening, wherever you are. Goodbye, my friends.